In today's Your Healthy Family, if you're at a point where you're reevaluating your health or fitness New Year's resolutions, perhaps you need to focus on just one thing. Like when it comes to diet, perhaps cutting down on or even cutting sugar out of your diet. But when you look at a nutrition standpoint, like we have essential fats, we have essential proteins or amino acids. There's no such thing as an essential carb. Like our body can produce that carb, can produce that sugar, because, I mean, yeah, brain will require it, so things will require it. But it's not required for us to eat it. Dr. Kurt Perkins is a functional medicine doctor in Colorado Springs well. who says, it's important to know carbohydrates and sugar are essentially interchangeable terms when it comes to looking at how your body processes them. Any, anything carbohydrate is going to raise a blood sugar level. Now, this is where we can have individual responses to it. Like, if I have a baked potato, my blood sugar skyrocket and I've done experiments wearing like a continuous glucose monitor and pricking my finger and all that just to see responses where someone else, okay, it doesn't budge that much. So there can be some individual responses to how well you respond to like other carbohydrates and sugars and things like that. But yes, in simplistic, yeah, it converts to sugar. Whether you're gonna use that or store it is kind of the next equation in, in your metabolic story. Carbohydrate is like the macronutrient and it breaks down to glucose, which is more of the micronutrient. Say we eat something high carb, and our body's like, hey, that's instant fuel, I can go use it. But unless you're in the middle of an exercise or running from a bear or something like that, most of the time we're sitting on our butt behind a computer getting fired up about something, and like, okay, I'm not using it, so let me go store it somewhere. And so the first place we actually store it is the liver. So you're gonna see, if not already, a plethora of fatty liver disease starting to building and building and building. Like when people get their metabolic panels, you'll see ALT and AST, those start to skyrocket. And usually the comment that I get from my clients is like, oh, the doctor just said you have fatty liver and kind of left it. I'm like, well, that's kind of a big, big deal in my world. Because the liver's like, I'll take about a day's worth of fuel and then we're gonna become resistant. So that's where the whole insulin resistance starts to come into play. Then the muscles are like, great, I'll take about a day's worth but we're shutting it down after about a day's worth of fuel. So let me go to the least resistance part of the body and that's the area between kind of armpits and knees, that midsection where most people gain weight. So if you wanna cut way down on sugar or try and cut out processed sugar from your diet completely, it would bring numerous health benefits, but that wouldn't be the first thing you'd notice. I think right off the bat, like, well, actually there'd probably be some detriment, not detriment, like it's a bad thing, but, um, probably some hangriness and like cravings and those types of things because it does hit those dopamine receptors in the brain. That's our reward, our motivation. So as you start getting rid of those, be prepared to probably be a little bit moody and who knows, things like that. But if you can manage to get through the sugar withdrawals, the benefits are many. The benefit is more from the hormone aspect of insulin where when we eat high sugar, that types of thing, insulin gets released to store it but at some point the body's like, I'm sick of listening to insulin, I'm gonna become resistant. And so when you parlay insulin resistance, you can not just diabetes, obesity, but now they're talking about Alzheimer's as a type three diabetes type of thing. Those plaques in your arteries are signals from insulin to build those up. So cardiac, cancers, hormone specific tumors, all those have an insulin resistance component of it. So looking at the long term. Cutting that sugar, decreasing that is huge for any chronic illness. For your healthy family, Myra Corona. For more on this story, head to the online version at yourhealthyfamily.com.